come with me on a magical tale. Something magical. It's called the Nutcracker. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition, where here on this channel we just talk about perfume, scents, fragrances and it's all about a vibe here. So if you want to turn the mundane into the extraordinary, you want to turn the mundane into the magical, then keep on watching. Today's video, it is Christmas. Finally, Christmas is just around the corner. And what do I have for you? Well, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to share with you something from my favourite ballet ever. Let's get into character with the Nutcracker. So what is the Nutcracker? It is a ballet by Tchaikovsky. I won't bore you with the details. It's quite a short ballet. It is just one hour and 15 minutes, um, roughly thereabouts. And it comprises of two acts and it's set all about Christmas Eve and I wanted to portray some of my favourite scents here that I think vibes with the Nutcracker and the characters. So let's pull that cracker, pardon the pun, and let's just jump into it. So it's Christmas Eve, imagine. There is a family, Clara, my cat is around, Clara, Louise and Fritz are three children and the family is hosting for Christmas and in walks this wonderful, do you want to get up Claude? You want to get up, come on, if you want to get up you can, there's a good boy, because he likes to listen to a little story here. You may not be able to see it, but it's just on my lap. So this family, they are hosting for Christmas and in walks the magician, which is Herr Drosselmeyer. And I wanted to portray something so magical, something enchanting. And I had to go with My by Bergway. This is a scent that is Everything and anything you can imagine in a scent. It's magical, but it's dark. And this matches Herr Drosselmeyer from The Nutcracker. He walks in. He just has a presence about him. And this, you're either going to love this scent or hate this scent. It's full of magic. It's full of promise. But it's dark and it's mysterious. It's slightly, well, actually, it is quite nefarious. You, you are imagining that this character, Drosselmeyer, he is a foreboding character. He's somebody that you wouldn't want to torment, but he has this playfulness about him as well, which, which is what I love about Drosselmeyer the Magician. I'm going to just spray a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, because this is so, so strong. This is, you know me, I don't really do notes, but in the air it has these facets of, you, you are quite taken aback by it. It evolves. And as it evolves, it dries down to this quite deep and dark and very, very mysterious. It is a mysterious scent. And Drosselmeyer the Magician in The Nutcracker is a mysterious person. He is alluring, but he has, there's something about him that is just... You're mesmerised by it, absolutely mesmerised by it. And My by Bogue is such a, a mesmeric scent. It's not for everybody. It's floral, it's animalic, it's magical, it's earthy, it's woody. It's not sweet at all. My by Bogue, Drosselmeyer in a bottle.
the Nutcracker, there is this young girl, her name is Clara, and she is presented with the Nutcracker. But to represent her, I chose Hera by Papillon because it was a toss up between this or another perfume. And I chose this because it is, it has sweetness and innocence about it. But it is verging on, I feel, from woman, from young girl to woman. And it has, I feel in the Nutcracker, it's not really a love story. It's about confidence and throwing away that innocence and becoming the woman that Clara is, I feel. And Hera fits this perfectly. It is, it's just a magical floral scent. It has iris, it's powdery, it has a bit of Turkish rose. It has some greenness in it. It's slightly sweet. It's feminine. It's everything that Clara is, I feel. And she has this feeling of this innocence, but you just think, because she is the, I think she's the oldest daughter, she, she's this teenager and she just is teetering on womanhood. And, but there is that throwback to innocence and there's that throwback to a slight fragility in her. And she's very endearing. She has these magical qualities. And Hera fits Clara perfectly. Now, still in the first act, Clara is presented with a nutcracker. And it was quite a difficult one to choose, really, which represents the vibe of the Nutcracker itself, the ballet itself. And I actually went for Lune de Miel by Fragonard. And I, I was thinking Hypnotic Poison, but this is sweeter. This is a beautiful bottle, beautiful bottle. It's magical. It's, and it's sweeter. It's slightly sweeter than Hypnotic Poison. It has vanilla. But it has almost this nuttiness, sweetness to it. And I feel it's just the Nutcracker itself. In the Nutcracker, it's represented by two facets, which I'll come on to later. But this first facet is Fragonard, Lune de Miel. It has this sweetness. It has this nuttiness. It has an almost childlike quality, but it's not juvenile. <sighs> and in the Nutcracker, it's broken by her brother, but then Drosselmeyer then fixes the Nutcracker for her, and it's fixed together. He's this magician, and there's just this magicalness about it. It's, this is quite a long lasting scent for an eau de toilette, but it fits the Nutcracker and it fits the vibe of the Bally Suite perfectly. It, it's, it's just magical. Lune de Miel by Fragonard. Now moving on to the second act. After Clara finds the Nutcracker at midnight and is transported into this magical fairy dust, she is confronted by the King Mouse in, and all of his assortment and the Nutcracker fights him. And I chose Magie Noire for the mouse because it's very, very foreboding, it's very dark, it's very gutsy, it's very dark. It has sweetness, but it, the darkness outshines this. This is everything but the kitchen sink in this scent. It's jammy, but a slight jammy rose, but it has this, for me, the vibe is bitterness of the dark chocolate 
and it hits you and it fits the king mouse perfectly in the nutcracker lasts forever and this is a reformulated version but the mouse is thwarted and is killed by the nutcracker who is then transformed into this magical prince and for the cavalier the prince himself i actually went a bit old school and i've gone for gentleman only by givenchy but it's the absolute version this is my husband's signature but it is a very cavalier scent it's woody and it's earthy and it's spicy and it's it's masculine hence you know no scent is has gender but if you wanted a true masculine scent and you wanted to feel masculine and you wanted to feel like the cavalier the prince in the nutcracker in his black in his tights then go for gentleman only by Givenchy it is strong and powerful and Clara is in chanted by him and he whisks her off to a magical land of Chinese dancers, Spanish dancers, Arabian dancers and he transports her to the Sugar Plum Fairy and I chose Anaïs Anaïs Premier Delice by Cacharel and the reason why I chose this is because although this is slightly floral it's so sweet it's all about the dance of all the sweets the fairies the angels everything angelic everything everything with the tutu as well it is perfect for this time of the year it has sweetness from the pear from the fruits it's a magical fruit forest kingdom and the sugar plum fairy dances magically with the cavalier with the prince and this is why I don't really feel it's like a love story as such it's about Clara unleashing all her freedom and her confidence and the sugar plum fairy is part of the journey and you know that famous dance she does and at the very end towards the end of the ballet the famous dance sequence which is absolutely magical with the cavalier it just whisks you on a journey these two babies are transported into a paradise into a magical kingdom and the ballet comes to an end and it's just it's a very very I think it's quite a short ballet but the sequences of the dancers are amazing I've always loved it it's always perfect around Christmas time and I wanted to share just some Christmas scents that really depict the characters and depict the vibe of the Nutcracker who is transformed into the Prince Lune de Miel by Fragonard, that sweet, nutty, woody scent that takes you onto a magical fairy tale kingdom. But ultimately, it really is Clara Hera who kind of loses her, her childhood and moves on into the next part of her life of womanhood. Hera, Clara, in the Nutcracker just portrays portrays it so beautifully with the mix of that sweetness and it has a magical fairy kingdom about it as well it is rich I think this and Lune de Miel by Fragonard really kind of like sets the stage the sweetness the lightness the darkness the fragility the innocence, that juxtaposed position which you are carried away with her character and it's not just, it's not, a it's not a love story, it's a fantasy, it's a magical kingdom of fairy tales.
So what are your kingdom fairy tale scents that take you on a journey all around Christmas and centre a stage for a ballet? Other than the Nutcracker, I wanted to just include this for this Christmas festive moment. But until next time, stay safe, be close to your loved ones, be those who you want to be with, cherish them, because you never know what tomorrow may bring. And I'll see you in the next video. Merry Christmas.